everyone and welcome back to another part and tips I guess on designing a house that looks a little bit more realistic. Um, I feel that making homes, um, especially in a game or any kind of program, um, you can pretty much just start building, uh, start putting walls in, uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but every house actually has some kind of architectural design or style uh, and they all have distinctive things about them. So the first one we're going to go ahead and talk about, I'm going to go ahead and just give us a foundation and foundations are used in just about every home um, unless you are going back in time to where, uh, you know, they're mostly built on dirt and made out of log trees and just kind of like stuck together or maybe they had brick just kind of stuck together. Um, even, even a lot of houses back in the horse and buggy days still had a lot of times a foundation. A foundation is used to keep water from coming into the home and to keep everything, you know, of course, safe. So the first uh, house we're going to go ahead and talk about, we're going to talk about a colonial style home and what makes a colonial style home. A colonial style home um, usually is in a square or rectangle style home. Um, not always. Uh, sometimes, let's go, just go ahead and start with like a basic rectangular shape here, just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea. Uh, sometimes they will have a portion off to the side here, you know, just a little section here. Um, and then another thing that colonials have is a lot of times they are two-story. I'm just, I'm not making anything here that looks pretty if you're hoping for these beautiful quick little speed builds of these homes um, I'm just basically showing you you know an idea another thing that you're gonna find in a um, colonial is they're gonna have columns they're very known for their columns and they can either they're usually two-story ones and they're usually pretty big fancy looking columns kinda like what you're seeing here so we'll go ahead and let's just move objects on real quick. That way we can, um, you know, place them where we want to. So, like I said, they are very known for their columns. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick a few in. Let's, let's go right here. Um, I guess I'm not going to be too worried on my placement, on how perfect they are. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of an idea. So you kind of have an idea you know, a little bit of an idea of how to create some of these styles. Um, like I said, pretty much every home is going to fall under some kind of category, some kind of style, regardless if you just start slapping it together. There are, oh my gosh, I don't even, I don't even have a clue how many styles of homes there actually are, but there are a ton. Uh, another thing you're going to see in a colonial, uh, most of the time their pillars are two-story. Uh, I mean, not guaranteed that they're going to be two-story, but a lot of times they will also have anywhere from two to uh, three or four, if you're building it in The Sims, of course, on stairs. Um, it just depends on the house. Uh, the bigger the house you have, the more extravagant house you're going to do, the bigger, the, you know, the more stairs you're going to have. Another thing you're going to find in a colonial is the roof. Most generally is not going to be very tall, as in high pitched. Um, and they usually go in this direction here. Like I said, I'm just kind of throwing stuff together real quick just to kind of give you an idea. And a lot of times their roof is going to also go over the pillars. You can either have them go like this or sometimes um, they will have, like I said, the roof goes in this direction here. We'll just kind of throw it in here real quick. And then you'll see something along the lines of more roofing. I probably didn't take that back far enough. You know, something like that. Or another thing that you might see in a colonial with the porch roof 
is just to add a little bit of extra kind of detail, they will have one that goes the opposite direction. Again, you are still going to have this piece back here. And then there will be a roof then, of course, oops, not that roof. They will also have a roof piece that comes over here and on this side as well for the porch. So we'll bring them down. I'm not trying to make this look pretty. I'm just throwing it together real quick just so you have an idea. Um, yeah, see those don't go all the way far enough back to connect. I'll uh, just make it easy. We will just kind of make this real big one here and just slow is bring it down. Okay, kind of, I mean, yeah, this looks horrible. I'm not taking my time. I'm not trying to make the roofs pretty, but these are just a few of the characteristics you're going to find in a colonial. Another one that you're going to see is they are a lot of times, I'm not going to say every single one because again, it could be a little bit of a preference on the person who is either building it or reciting it, but they normally have just plain white siding. That looks more gray than it does white, but you get the idea. They're usually white. Um, the fronts are very flat, and what I mean by flat uh, is flat, like this. <laughs> they're normally very flat in the in the front here. And a lot of times they're even front on the sides, or flat on the sides, and uh, sometimes, don't, don't mind this mess back here on the roofing, um, but sometimes they're even flat back here. Or another thing that you will find is they'll have in the back they will have a like a sunroom or a living room off to the back here just kind of throw something in real quick for you i don't want this video to go too long and i wanted to cover a few different you know several kinds that is obviously not the roof i wanted it's not going on right the roof on these will go this way it'll go this direction when you do the sunroom in the back um, a lot of times a colonial will have something like that as well. Now when you're doing the front, like I said, you can come back a little bit here. That is fine. Um, that is okay. That's not usually sometimes, I'm not going to guarantee again that always, but occasionally you'll find a colonial that might have an entrance. Um, that's basically all these are is just like an entrance and sometimes it's even a two-story entrance and It'll have really big windows here. and You'll see this gorgeous chandelier coming out from it um, That would be you know more or less on the style of a colonial Now I wanted to do the colonial first because the other house I'm going to talk about is called a plantation a plantation home is very similar to a colonial. They're going to have just about the same um, characteristics. The only thing different about uh, colonials and plantations is a plantation is designed to be very, very large. Those are the ones that you normally see on cotton farms in the southern U.S. back during the um, slavery eras. And uh, they were just like, really, really big. They had servant quarters, or I guess you could say, you know, and they had other outbuildings for their slaves and things like that. This is not my favorite style of home just because of what it reminds me of. I hate that era of the United States. I think it is the worst thing ever in any country. But um, this is one of the styles you're going to see mostly in the southern. Same with colonial. We There are some in the uh, northern area of the United States. Um, you see more or less of a colonial in the northern part of the United States that does not have pillars. They are still very um, flat faced as I would call it. Um, another thing you're going to find in a plantation that is different from a uh, uh, colonial is they will have this big extravagant, uh, I guess you could call it, um, I don't even know if they're double balcony or I don't know the terms for a lot of this stuff, but they will have this big balcony area. Uh, of course, I can't put it in because of the pillars. I wanted to kind of do this quick, but these pillars are not going to let me. Um, in order to create this look in The Sims, 
basically you're going to, you can't have these pillars in to start with. We'll just go ahead and delete them really quick. I'm trying to do this quickly for you because there's a few other styles I would like to touch base on for you. Um, in another video we will do um, interiors because when you're doing with different styles of homes, they will also have different interiors um, that is, you know, for their style. So I'm just trying to get, get some uh, uh, tiles here so I can get this balcony on for you really quick. Okay, in fact, I even did a home that I guess I titled it Colonial because it is very similar to a Colonial. But um, I guess it would be more considered a uh, plantation, I guess, on style than a colonial. Um, but you would get these two-story pillars like this. That way they went all the way through. If I can, it won't let me copy. Oh, that seems either I'm doing something wrong or it's not letting me copy. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and grab another one. You would take them through like so. I'm just throwing them in. They're not spaced very good. But you would have something like this. You would have a double deck and a, or a balcony along with the porch underneath. And again, they normally have, sometimes they're flat-faced. Sometimes they have a uh, an entrance like you see here in the Colonial. Um... You know, that's kind of, and they have the same roofing as what the Colonial has. Uh, again, they're also a lot of times square and rectangular in design. Um, another type of Colonial, you're not going to see this too much. I forgot to show it to you. You're not going to see this too much in a plantation, but a Colonial, let's go ahead and try to get rid of it. I figured it would be quicker just to get rid of it like this. Um, sometimes what you'll see in a colonial is really flat faced. And what I mean is it's going to literally look just like this. Sometimes it doesn't even have this add on here. There won't even be anything on the side. Sometimes they are just flat like this. Um, that is not the roof I wanted. And they're going to have the same roof that we already talked about. We'll just go ahead and cover this up because sometimes they have that too. Um, this is another look of a just a basic colonial. There won't even be a porch. There'll be a small little area out front for your stairs and uh, um, your doorway, and that is really about it. Occasionally, you will find some that have. We don't want two. You'll find again they have more of a fancier type of column. Sometimes you will have a small itty bitty little porch in the front. This is probably too wide, but something like that. That is also another style when it comes to a colonial. Now I wanna go ahead and move on to a few other styles. Like I said, right now we're just working on the outside. I will also link in the description below on a few different roofing techniques. Um, that you can, you know, a few things to do with some of the roofing because I'm doing a really bad job, <laughs> you know, with the house here. Okay, I want to go ahead and move on to, let's go with a Mediterranean style home. Those are going to be homes, I don't know where all in the United States you will find them, but they're more out west in the United States uh, and they are made with stucco and they are they have lots of arches, they are large, and they use tile roofs, and again, their pitched roof is very low. So I'm just going to make a small one because we don't have time to make a large one. They have turrets, so I'll just do a small turret here just so we have, you know, so I can kind of show you really quick here. They can have, in fact, their turrets a lot of times are more, more extravagant. So um, we'll just go ahead and will make it a little bit bigger. And what I mean by more extravagant is it's not really a small one. It'll actually continue around like so. Just be a little bit more extravagant. So um, we'll just kind of throw one together real quick. Again, I'm not trying to make this look pretty. 
I'm just really in a hurry because I want to try to get these covered. Um, so we'll just kind of, we kind of have to have the roofing on or the walls in in order to get the roofing in. Uh, so I can show you what I mean in case you don't know what a clay tile roof is. That's the type of roof they're normally going to have. Um, and what I mean by stucco, stucco is created by using a netting, the type of net. I, again, I don't know the technical terms for this. I am not an architect. I did not go to school for any of this, so I don't know the technical terms. But it's going to be done where the house is covered in a like a netting type of material and then they slap on this stuff that they call is stucco it's kind of like oh i'm trying to explain it goes on darker you can have it tinted i don't want tile i'm trying to think and do this at the same time um but let me find the right one here they don't have trims. Um, it's like that has a trim. I'm trying to avoid the darn trim. Where is it? I know there is one in here that has no trim. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Um, they're going to be usually a creamy color. Let's just kind of pretend this is stucco. It kind of looks a little bit like kind of like stucco. It's hard to see, and you probably can't see it in this recording. But it has a little bit of a texture. Uh, stucco will have a little bit of texture. It's kind of like mudding, I guess you could say. And it can come tinted. The roofing is, like I said, um, is low. I'm just going to throw one together. I don't normally do Mediterranean because the game does not have very nice... Um, like this part will be low. In fact, the turrets are even kind of, the roofing is also kind of low there. Um, they, the roof then, when I said it is clay tiles, um, they're normally, let's see, I know the game has them. Well, has kind of something similar. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, again, I don't really use it too much. That's kind of a little bit of what, there you go. Yeah, that's a clay tile. You can kind of see how they look like little clay pieces. Um, I'm trying to think. There's actually a movie. I think it's a Jurassic Park number two at the end. They're on a roof and the girl is climbing and all these little tile pieces fall and hit the... Um, the raptor and knocks him off and they fall to the ground and shatter. That is a clay tile on a roof in case you don't know what it is. And it's normally in this color. Again, it is stucco. Another thing you're going to see, like I said, they have arches. And what I mean by arches is they will have a porch. Um, I just kind of create. They don't use columns very... Actually, I don't know if they have used columns at all. Um, I don't know. We're just going to... I didn't go into, and I know, I don't know, I didn't go into, um, to find out for sure. Just basing it off of my memory here. <laughs> so I apologize if I miss a few things that are characteristics with this, but they will use arches. Lots of arches. Get these to connect. Um, I did not make that even, but they will use arches instead of pillars. Uh, kind of like that with stucco. That is something you're going to see. See if I can color this really quick for you. That way it don't look too horribly bad. And sometimes they'll even have balconies above it. Like pretend we have a floor up there. <laughs> and you'll see this sitting on top. So this is kind of a little bit of an idea of a Mediterranean. It is similar. Um... To, you know, a lot of these styles are going to be very similar. And again, they are large. The roof is low pitched. Stucco, arches, those are a few things. If you're going to make a Mediterranean, make sure you add these because these are the things you're going to find. Sometimes they're in dark shades of tan. Sometimes it's light. Sometimes it's white. You're not going to find blue. So don't be making it blue. Okay, you're not going to find green. It's these colors, like the colors of sand. Europeans, okay, their houses or the European style, I should say, I don't mean exactly, I don't know where all they are going to be found. I 
honestly have no idea how much of the actual, you know, countries and stuff of Europe that have this style to be for sure. But they will be um, brick. They're not, they don't really use the stucco. I think they might, but um, you mostly see brick. So let's go ahead and find a brick. And I apologize if maybe I get a few of these things wrong. Um, this is just from my years in the past of research, so I apologize any of you if I offend you. That is not my goal here. They use, um, there's a lot of brick. I'm just going to cover the whole thing in brick because, like I said, that is characteristic. So, um, so just going to go ahead and cover it in brick. They also have turrets. You'll find turrets in those. They also use arches. Um, they have chimneys, so um, there'll be lots of chimneys. I'm just going to throw some into the house. That way it gives the look of a chimney outside, so you'll find chimneys. Let's see. There we go, and I didn't put that one out far enough. There we go. Yeah, that looks really bad, but chimneys is something you're going to see, whether you use in-game chimneys or you shrink them down and make them smaller, like you can do, which it's not moving very good for me, but you can make them smaller or you can do sometimes what I do and I make my own. Uh, that way you can change the color. You can't change the color of these, um, but that is pretty much these can come large or small it doesn't matter too much on size when it comes to those ones those are a few things if you make a european one um oh and they don't have um they don't do clay tiles on their ceiling or on their roofs they have um i'm not sure i think it's just regular roofing actually we'll just kind of throw something in I'm not from the area, but they just have regular roofing that's not clay tiles. And there's a lot of brick, different shades of brick. Um, so a lot of brick. I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of different colors of bricks So and stone. Another one I want to go into is Victorian. Victorian homes, they have turrets. Their roof pitches are very very steep um they have porches they have towers and what i mean by a tower a tower is not the same thing as a turret in case you um did not know that a tower is more square okay um so if you're going to use a tower you're going to make it more square and a tower is going to go farther up than the roof Sometimes a turret does too, depending on how high you want it, but their towers are going to be uh, more square or rectangular shape, and their roof style on top of a tower is going to be this square one, the hipped roof, and it's going to be more square, and it's going to be also tall. Um, a Victorian uses a lot of tall, tall roofs. Um, they are very colorful. If you want to make a true Victorian, yes, they can have stone. They can have brick. That is more of an up-to-date style of, uh, Victorian. These are more colored. Uh, they have bright colors. I'm not going to go into much detail <laughs> on them, on their colors, but not paneling. They do use siding. They are going to have corner end pieces. Um, see if I can find one. I like using this one down here at the bottom. It's base game, but they have, and basically, if you do one of these, they're going to do just the corners are going to be done. I'll just do the tower here because it'll be less time consuming. Um... I'll just do the bottom portion of the tower so you can kind of see. So you're going to have that. And what I mean by bright colors is you're going to have, say, a purple trim. 
or pinkish trim or whatever. And then this is, I don't know, blue. <laughs> so let's go ahead and copy these over. Probably not that shade of purple. That's pretty hideous. <laughs> that probably would have been more pink, maybe. But they were very bright and colored. The game does not come with enough pieces to make them super detailed. But Victorians are extremely detailed. They have porches. They have balconies. Their railings are very fancy. They even have, um, let's go to this fencing because I know you can get some of them. Okay. We'll just use this one as an example. They are going to have stuff like this. And their, their porch railings and these decorative pieces up here will be colored to match the siding. It'll be whatever color this stuff is. Um, they're very fancy. They also have roof pieces. Let's see if I can find them quickly here. I am trying. I really have no idea where this stuff is kept. Uh, anyway, they have decorative pieces up in the peak over here. I believe Midnight Hollow has them where you can put these decorative pieces here in the peaks. All kinds of detail. They'll even have detail coming from the roof eaves here. Uh, very, very fancy. They'll even have little fence things sitting on the top of the roof here. They'll put um, tower points. There'll be these big metal rods on top of the the turrets here. Big fancy windows. Um, lots of detail in the windows on the outside. Lots of detail. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. These can be large or small. They do the mansard roof. If you go into my uh, link description below and go to the roofing tutorial and tips, that will show you how to do a mansard roof in the height and size that you want and not what the game uh, gives you. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to a ranch style home. Ranch style homes are super, super easy to make. It is extremely common in The Sims to find a ranch style home. All a ranch style home is, is a one story. And I don't mean a ranch style as in a ranch that you would find out west with cows and horses and fencing. I mean the actual style and all it is is a one story home. Um, they're usually kind of more in the way of rectangular shape. They can have little bump outs. I don't know what to call them, but little bump outs here. Um, they sometimes have maybe a small area over here. They can, a lot of times, are attached to a garage. We're just going to pretend that it is a small garage. <laughs> um, sometimes they are just flat in the back. Um, in fact, my parents lived in one that was a ranch style, and all they had was a small area that come out back here for the main bedroom, and the rest here was flat. Um, occasionally they will have maybe a small porch, covered porch on the front, but most of the time it is just a deck. Um, out front, uh, sometimes there's a patio out back. Um, like I said, these are one story. They can be small or large. They don't have, they can have anywhere from low detail to high detail on the outside on their, you know, on what they do, on the details. Um, the next thing we're going to go to is, um, we're going to go uh, go to a modern style. This is the last style I want to talk about. This is not much of a style you're going to find on my channel because I just don't like them. They are far from being my favorite. Things you're going to find with a modern style is you're going to have flat roofs. Um, they will have roofs that are slanted on one side straight on the other. They are uh, got very large windows um, where it's one solid piece of glass. And what I mean by that is uh, they have a few of them here in the windows. They're at the bottom. Um, let's see. Here we go. Go to your um, 
what do you want to call it? Uh, Into the Future packs has a lot of them. They are just big pieces of windows. Sometimes they will use not ones quite so wide. See if I can find it quickly here. Here we go. And these will be side by side to each other. Um, which of course it wanted to come out on me. Uh, another ones that you will find. Uh, they're here somewhere. Again, in the future has, um, oh, I, I'm pretty sure it's in this game. I don't think I'm thinking Sims 4. Uh, maybe it is at the bottom. Okay, here we go. You got one that is higher up like that. They also have one in this in the game in the future. Apparently, we cannot overlap them. <laughs> there we go. If you want them to overlap, it seems like they have one somewhere that does that. Yes, if you want them overlapped, there is one here that will do that for you. Those are kind of the windows you're going to find in a modern. Another thing that they have um, isn't really columns. They usually have maybe just a piece like this sticking out or like maybe they'll have pieces over here. I apologize if I'm really sucking at this. This is definitely out of my element. <laughs> I'm not a modern fan. Um, and then they will have, see like I can't even get it to go over there. I don't want that. I actually wanted it. We'll try to bring it. It's not giving me my grid lines is the problem. Um, we'll delete those in a second. I actually wanted this to come out. Whoops, not that far. There we go. And they will be open. You can have them open here. So, whoops, I don't want that. We'll just open it one time, I guess. That's not where I wanted it. Try and do this quickly here. Um, just a bunch of things like that. Um, they'll just kind of be sticking out. And they're really weird shape. I mean, you want to do... I mean, you can't really mess up a modern. Like, I'll go ahead and put some more, like, beams here for support. They use a lot of metal because of the design that they use. They will use more of the really big metal beams inside of the home. And that is used to help give more support. You can have larger gaps. This is where your open floor plan came in. Uh, open floor plan was not used in traditional. Those That's not where it came from. Modern brought out tradition or the uh, open floor plan in homes. And they have smooth, straight lines. Um, they have... Let's see, like I said, the roofing is flat sometimes. So if you want to do one that is, um, that goes up on one side, you're going to use, if I can get it to work, it's not, oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, that'll probably work. You're going to use this roof here. Um, it slants on one side, it's flat on the other. We're going to go ahead and lower this. Heck, you can even make them two different heights and you'll probably be okay. <laughs> um, then they also have, they do just flat roofing. So, whoops, get out your flat roof here and do this. Um, you can even have them come over a little bit here, just add, you know, something there. And that is a little bit of what you could do for a modern style. Um, and what they also have what's called, I call them anyway, straight lines. And what that means is everything is going to be straight. It's going to be flat in some way or another. You're not going to have curved walls. You're not going to, well, I guess maybe some people might build them with curved walls, but you're going to be, it's going to be straight. Um, you usually will find these not in siding. I think they're in metal, and we don't have metal in the game. <laughs> um, it's something, it's just that type of style. Um, 
they <laughs> might do more in the you know maybe not necessarily model uh, metal but um it's gonna a lot of times you'll find them in white you might find them in in uh black i guess if the person's really gloomy we're just going to put in the hex code for white and that is six f's if you didn't know that so f f f f f f is white there you go that is the hex code for white that that one and black is the only one i know so don't ask me what the hex code is for any other color because <laughs> i don't know but you're gonna find them like i said in white there's um support pieces might be done up in in a uh, in stone or something or another but that would be a modern style oh and they use a lot of glass fencing and wire fencing when they do their uh fencing for their deck and what i mean by glass or what um like wire or whatever is going to be something along the lines of this or I get a little closer there so you can kind of see it as if it doesn't move around on me too much sometimes I hate moving this game just straight wire here um, they try not to have too much in the way of supports because again that breaks up the smooth clean lines um, and then sometimes you'll find glass this is called fun fence uh, so you'll have because it's again open floor plan you're going to need to be able to see from one side to the other you need to be able to see all the way through your home basically no privacy whatsoever so basically these kinds of fencing again you're going to find these in your um into the future pack so if you want modern style pieces that is the pack you're gonna want um i think this comes with something else i don't know i don't know what pack that is it's got that symbol but this would be considered modern as well um, a lot of these different things. So there is my um, tutorial on creating at least the outside shape. Modern, you can't go wrong. Just start throwing rectangles and boxes wherever you want. Have them hang over somewhere or another and throw in some of these big gigantic windows. Uh, the next tutorial we're going to do, we will talk about floor plans for these types of homes. Um, they do have different styles of floor plans, uh, and they can be pretty predictable. I can pretty much look at just about any type of house and tell you what kind of floor plan, and I will probably be 80% correct. They're very predictable, and we will talk about those in the next part. So if you enjoyed this tutorial on different styles of homes, please give this a uh, thumbs up. I apologize on how long this is. Um, I might cut it up into two parts. We will see when I go to edit on how long it actually is. I wasn't keeping time. So, uh, if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions or maybe there's a different style I did not cover. There are so many styles, including Cape Cod is one of them. You have beach homes. Anything you can think of, if you need more help on, please ask and I will help you out. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.